Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Hypermind Vanilla Server. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. We're over here at Spawn today because we're going to work on a wall. Let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Today it's time to build a wall. We're going to build a great wall. It's going to be an amazing wall, but the thing is, I'm going to be the one paying for it. We've got to collect some materials and let's just lay out kind of what we're going to be doing. We've got our mob farm tower right here. That's going to be one of the corners, okay? So we're going to have part of the wall coming through here and going around and meeting up with our cactus farm tower over there. We might have another tower or or at least a little jut out portion on this corner overlooking this part of the bay or this bay right here. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it ends up once we lay this thing out. The other thing is why you, you might be asking, why you why, why are you going to do a wall? You've got one right there. Yeah, we've got one right there, but that's the keep. The keep is the central part of the castle. It's generally the most well protected and the one that everybody falls back to if the outer defenses are breached. So we've got to build those outer defenses and we're going to do that with a little bit of a wall. We're not going to go as tall as that one. We're going to, I'm not quite sure how tall we're going to go, but uh, sufficient so we can get a decent sized gate. Now I was talking with Basket. He's working on the rail station right here and he has indicated that right in here is going to be the foot traffic path for getting to the iron farm storage area. So that works out really great. We didn't we didn't really talk about the details of how all of that was going to fall out, but it works out just great. We're going to have a gate right here that's going to go in and then duck into the iron farm storage area proper there. So we're going to connect this tower to this wall, okay? So the keep is going to be kind of exposed to the outer elements, I can't really do anything about that because it is on top of a mountain. So I'm going to kind of use the, the natural defenses for that as well. But on the places where people could get to easily, we're going to have two sets of walls. So, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go grab some more materials and then we'll get a little foundation started. And then I'll bring you back once we've got a pretty good setup all the way around. Okay. And and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. Might involve some time lapses and stuff as we go, but I need to get the initial the initial foundation drawn out. So let me go off camera and do that, and I'll see you in just a little bit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. I've done the work that I said I was going to do. I've laid out the laid out the wall. Okay, talked with Basket. I'm going to show you what we got, but I'm staring at a wall right now. Not the wall, I'm just staring at a wall. Because I'm trying to hide from you a certain certain set of information. And that's because we've got a lot of things to cover. A lot has happened since the last time I recorded something. First of which is that Hypermine is updated to 1.12. Yes, that's right, the full release, the latest release of Minecraft. And what's really cool is that Forge is updated as well, which means we get our client-side mods back. So you can see over in the right hand side that optifine is going see if we can even bring back in the cheaty zoom key excellent and it also means that we have journey map available i've been waiting for this for so long we got journey map back okay anyway enough of that i'm still waiting for inventory tweaks but beggars can't be choosers uh, and i do have the light level overlay i'm kind of kind of excited about that as well and something weird just happened on my screen Okay, yeah, anyway, and then we also have the replay mod, and let's see if we can bring this up. You can see it right here, uh, replay mod. Yep, that means that we can start doing a little bit better time lapses. See, the ones we've been doing since we were in snapshot mode was, uh, they were all right, but it's not as cool as replay mod. I really like that. So, uh, Marius has, or Crushed Pixel has updated it, so, uh, so yeah, anyway. Enough about that. I'm in here because I wanted to warn you about some things you're going to see once we get outside. First of which, you might be able to see a little bit right there. B00 changed his texture of Podzol in his 1.12 version. I'm not sure that I like it. We may change it back. I may go back 
into the resource pack and say, no, I don't want that change, but we'll see. I'm not a fan of it. You'll see once we get out there. The other thing is you might see some birch logs and right here. They're fine. But the moment you do that, look at that, the no texture texture, there's something wrong with between the B00 texture pack and Optifine and Forge. They just don't work together on those. And it used to be that there was a problem with crafting benches in that, but he got that fixed. Let's go out here. We'll take a look at the pods all texture as I take a sleep as well. Yes, let's do that. Okay. And uh, another, another order of business while we start flying around here is that at the time of this recording, I have just hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. Man, it's been a long time coming. And wow. Anyway, wholesale virus of the Hyper Antics server was the 1,000th subscriber. So big thanks to him on that. And, um, and yeah, so that means that we've got to do a special here soon. And that means I have to figure out what we're going to do. So probably a little Q&A and maybe a face reveal. Who knows? Hey, you can see some of those crazy birch blocks there. But right now, um, about the 1,000 subscriber special, if you've got some ideas, let me know. I'd love to hear them. We'll entertain them. But for now, let's get back to what we were talking about. We've got this wall kind of started here. I've laid it out just with a single stone brick on on both the inside and outside it's going to be five wide okay so five total in width but it's going to have a pathway of three blocks in between each of the inner and outer walls so that's kind of what we're doing there and then right here on the corners we're going to have turrets kind of like that tower right there on we got one planned right there the mob farm is another one and then we've got another couple planned, one over there and one on that side of the mob farm or the iron farm. So let's do a let's see if we can take off properly here. Okay, good deal. And see if we can fly around and show you the outline. So that's the plan right there like that. Okay, let's come over here and show you what we've got planned for this section right in here is going to be the main gate from the rail station. So Basket and I have chatted about that. He's going to be sending the standard pedestrian traffic out through this wall towards the iron farm. And that means that we're going to have the pedestrian walkway into here. Uh, this, I, you know, I've got a five wide wall here, but standard castle walls or the entrances need to be a little bit thicker so they can have some defensive measures built in. So we're going to bump this out one on each side so it's going to be seven wide total five wide in between and then from there oh we've got a witch on the inside uh, from there we're going to have a stairway duck down and then a stairway go up so we're going to split the traffic they can come around this way if they wish or they can go down into the iron farm storage area we'll probably do some landscaping to bring the ground level up right here but anyway enough chatting about what we're going to do let's actually do it we've got the outline we've got the materials it's time to build so let's roll the music and get started
hopefully you enjoyed that little time lapse. I certainly enjoyed putting that together and getting back into the replay mod. Such fun. Anyway, let's take a look at the progress here. So what I've done is, well, we got this wall here and then I came in and did a little bit more on the towers. We've still got some work to do right here. And then let's see if I can take off again. No, sometimes. Okay, there we go. All right. And then the other piece is that right in here, we need a little something, something. So um, I don't know quite what I want to do for that yet. I do need to bring in some more of these pillars, these spruce pillars all around. That's why I'm growing those trees right there. And then, you know, if we take a look at this wall, we've got a tower right there and we've got a tower right there, but nothing in the middle. And that's kind of boring and bland. And so what I'm going to do is figure out where the halfway point is and probably put a tower. Now we do need to keep in mind, we've got the boat pig's final resting place here so we'll have to just keep a watch on that but we'll probably have another tower go right here i'm going to go off camera and take care of that and then also put in all of the rest of the pillars all the way around and i'll bring you back and show you the progress once i'm done well we're back ladies and gentlemen hopefully you don't mind coming in and taking a look at this via elytra flying because i really think that it just adds the best best method of looking at these big projects you know from a distance okay you you can fly back and really get a good overview of it so i'm trying to show this to you and what i did on this wall is i did come in and bring another tower okay that is i think 15 in diameter right there and i also changed out the diameter of that tower to a 15 as well just because it worked a lot better for these, these side columns here. So I wanted one that kind of fitted in with one of the designs that I really like from the B00 castle pieces on the walls. And that is where you've got a column right here. And then you go over a little bit and then you've got this column of stone and then the log. So that that's how that fits in. I looked for the smallest diameter circle that gave me that kind of configuration. And so that's what we ended up with. So I had to redo that one. And then I had to redo, well, not redo. I just had to do this one. So originally this was a straight wall all the way across, but hopefully you agree with me. It's a little bit more visually interesting. I certainly like it. And you can see I've carried the columns all the way across and getting them ready up in the top. Let's use the cheaty zoom key from Optifine because we have that now. And up there is going to be some cobble. And that is because our top design is uses a uh, cobblestone right there cobble stair but um but yeah there we go so that's kind of what well i mean that's the main thing i've been working on here is just figuring out the kind of diameter or the the spacing of all these columns so you can see that and then around the side here i've brought in strengthened up the where these pillars come into the water side so you don't have wood touching water. You certainly don't want that because, well, it's not, not the best for wood for it to be submerged in water like that. So there we go. What I want to do also is show you around the other side. We'll see if we can take a flight real quick. And I want to show you the, I think it's the north side. Yeah, north. Which way are we looking? south it's the south side excuse me and yeah let's see if we can take off yes we can excellent so we'll just go out a little ways and then turn back in and you can see right here the same design coming in maybe i'll land right up here that way you get a better view of it yeah there we go and you know what, maybe I'll turn off all of the UI elements there. So we've got the columns coming in like you like you see all, all the way around. Just spruce logs just going all the way up. And that provides a little bit of strength. And then right here, this is the exact center of the farm. Well, it's not necessarily the center of the castle wall, but it certainly is where the center of the iron farm is. So that pillar right there in the middle 
that lines up with the lights on or the indicator lights on the iron farm so and you can see the pillars going all the way across sorry for that let's uh see if we can do that anyway i think it looks a lot better than just the drab drab stone brick that we had before and don't worry about the bridge i've already been talking about that with basket so we're going to be working on that here soon went backwards there didn't mean to do that anyway uh, what i want to do is also now take a look on the inside and and we'll just pop up and bleed off some of our speed right here so you can see what we did on the inside and i'm going to set up something that we've got coming up in the future so where we have this wall and we we now have these gullies okay we're going to take care of that probably no it's not going to be this episode we've got some other stuff to do and we'll take care of all the detail work in the next episode but let's just show off this part right here i i was trying to figure out how in the world can we get the entrance to the iron farm storage area and have it work with this and still get like get rid of that that steep slope right there and the way we're going to do that is with a tunnel so you come down from the portal and go into this tunnel uh, i will talk with lapis lori about about this because it doesn't quite fit in with what she's put together for this path and so maybe i'll see if she can come by and dress this up but this is just to give an idea for how how we might enter into the storage area from places up here so we'll have main spawn this is where new players come in and they can come over to this walkway and then go into the storage area and then get up to the portal okay so you're with me so far you come down in here and uh and yeah so we've still got a lot of work to do what i need to do now is uh we're gonna do the detail work and we're gonna do like, filling in this area and carrying out our 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 extra stuff our, our level of the dirt up here we're gonna do that next episode for now what i want to do is take a look at um at our gate so we'll kind of we'll start the detail process we're going to start over with the gate and then we'll go from there anyway hopefully you enjoyed and uh we'll be i'll meet you over at the main gate over here all right ladies and gentlemen it's time to take some attention to our gate over here and take a look at we brought in some pillars right there kind of throws off the original design we'll have to come in with our our bottom decoration down here just like we had over there let's see if we can figure out where the middle point is we've got what, one two three four six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen okay so what do we got to do that's 15 all the way across so what seven in there's three another three and then seven so this is going to be our halfway point okay and then we'll probably go out um we need a decent sized door so let's just knock out a hole right here and we'll worry about additional work a little later but let's just take that out and see what we've got as far as width uh doesn't quite something's not adding up here we've got what, three and then one two three four five that's not right so i came in at the wrong spot i think We'll put in some right there so the halfway point uh let's see we've got four over here right four and four okay i think i think that's pretty good and then let's actually use a pick i was just using a shovel there and we'll knock out a little bit more right here this is really just to get an idea of what we're working with for our gate design or our, our main gate design here and too much right there throw that back in okay i think i think that's good to be working with and what we're going to do is kind of fill that in and uh and yeah work with a little gate design right there so uh let me take care of that i've got a few ideas i want to play with off camera but uh once we come back i'll give you a little tour of what I've put together. All right.
back in a bit. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, over here at the rail station. Basket has done some more work. Can't quite see it from out here, but he's continued working on that on his stream. So do go check him out if you get a chance. What we're going to do now is a little turn around. I'm going to reveal the gate. Are you ready? Ta-da! What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Let's kind of let's go over some of the the design decisions here. So once again, we're bringing in the spruce logs to show off uh, show off our our strength. Kind of give that idea that the spruce logs are helping with the structure of the castle walls. We've got our bottom detail here wrapping those spruce logs in a little bit more strength, not just spruce logs into the dirt, but we've got some stone supporting that stone foundation always seems better when that happens we've got uh, the portcullis and it's currently raised and then if you look down here we've got dispensers lined up and that's going to accept the portcullis when it drops down and it's a two-layered system so you well if invaders are coming through you can drop both sets of portcullis portcullises portcullis i how's that i don't know if that well, I don't know how that works. So how, what are our multiple portcullises? So, yeah, anyway, if you know, let me know. But you can drop those down, and that way there are multiple layers of defense. And then if people get trapped in through here, if they manage to breach the first one and they get stuck in here, well, they've got dangerous, dangerous things above them. So we've got those, those holes right there where you can drop tar and heavy rocks on invaders down below so a few layers of defense there and up top we've got little holes out of which archers can be picking off people out here so i think this gate is pretty pretty well stocked if you look back here just mirrored back here as well and and yeah and that's what that's going to do is allow people to come through here and walk down into this walkway that i've extended out to get into the storage area of the farm. So once you go this way, oh, we've got to restart in 10 minutes. We're going to be done before that, but I'm going to continue the decoration here out. So I'm going to take care of that real quick off camera and, and we'll continue that out, out here and we'll see where to go from that point. I'm back in a bit. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a walk through here just so you can see what I've put together. As soon as you walk through that gate, you are greeted by the overall theme of our storage area. So I've carried that all the way down here. Did have to expand it a bit. If you remember, our storage area is actually an even, an even width right on the center on this line. It's an odd width on the other side. So that central pillar is actually, what is that? three by four yeah so we've got even numbers to deal with and that's not a problem we can just expand this a little bit and there we go so there's still more work to be done but i think before we get into the design for here we need to work on some additional stuff out here you see that our tunnel is poking out into the main area so i think what we're going to do is off camera, uh, I mentioned it for the the rest of our our area around here, uh, the rest of our area here within the wall, within this outer wall. We're going to have to push the layer of dirt out to the wall. Ooh, well, we've got a zombie villager going through in the mob farm there. And while I am pushing that layer of dirt out on all along the outer wall back there, you know, uh, over here, I'm going to take some dirt and make a hill that goes up here and kind of tapers into the existing hillside and we'll bring that down in a little bit more of a uh, tapered uh, tapered what is it slope okay so it's really steep right there you see that you you definitely break your ankles as you're falling off of that so we're going to bring that down have a little walkway but i'm going to take care of that uh, in the next episode so hopefully you enjoyed this one i certainly enjoyed putting it together it's a lot of fun really bringing this project to um, a little bit more finality. We're getting close to the end here at Spawn, and so it's nice to, to have that. So 
Uh, just a few more details to go, and we should be should be ready. But uh, but yeah, there we go. I, I enjoyed putting it together. If you enjoyed it, do let me know. Click the like button down below. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on on the channel. But that's going to be it for now. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.